Hey, our friends, we're glad you're with us again today. We're going to be doing another cool origami project, right, Checkers? Yeah. What are we going to be doing? An origami snapper. Yeah, an origami snapper. <laughs> All right, checkers, for this art project, you need some paper, right? Yeah. Because it's origami? Yeah. We're going to be folding some stuff. We hope you're going to follow along with us. It's important for this project that you don't have a square piece of paper, though. Yeah. So or, you don't want origami paper. We're just going to use regular printer paper, 8 and a half by 11, okay? Okay. All right, now this is a really fun project, and it's super easy, but we're going to do some cool little tricks to make it even cooler, okay? Okay. All right, so first step is to make a hat. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna make we're gonna fold our paper in half. We're gonna turn it this way first, and we can fold it in half this way. And we want to make sure that our corners down at the bottom and the top, and this edge on the left lines up perfect. Okay. And if you get those to line up perfect, then your snapper at the end of the project will look even better. And then make sure your fold is crispy like bacon, right? Yep. Crispy bacon <laughs> is the Bacon dust. <laughs> Crisp bacon. All right, then we're gonna open up. Our, we're gonna open up our paper and then fold it the other direction. Okay, fold it in half this way, and make sure that's lined up perfect. You want the fold in the middle lined up and the corners at the ed, at the ends to line up too. Make it crispy bacon so I can come over and eat it. <laughs> yeah, make it so we can eat it. <laughs> All right, okay, now we got that. We're going to turn it this way so it opens up at the bottom, okay? Okay. All right, and then we're going to keep it closed, though. Oh. And we just, we're going to fold this top corner down so that this top edge right here is lined up with the middle of uh, our model, where that fold is, a guide fold. Make sure it's perfect right along the middle fold. Crispy. Bacon. Now we're going to fold this edge and do the same thing over on this side. We really want these two corners to line up perfect right in the middle of the paper, okay? Okay. Good job, little man. I'm not little. <laughs> All right, Kate, now we're going to, this is the hat part, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to fold this top flap up like that. This is where it's turning into a hat. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Then we can flip it over and we're going to fold this side up so that it lines up. The bottom edge or the bottom fold lines up with the fold that we did on the other side. And you can fold, you can make sure that these corners line up on the ends. There we go. Got it? Almost. Almost, stay on target. <laughs> okay. Good job. Yeah. Let's put it down on the table. It's a little easier. And then I'll line this corner up for you and hold it and then you can refold the bottom. There you go. Okay. Oops. Hmm. Let's try that one more time. Kind of tricky when you get a other fold in there. There you go. Okay. Fold that. Hmm. Crease it down. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Okay. Look, it's party hat, right? You could open it. <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> Ew, crazy knucklehead. All right, okay, okay let's keep going. <laughs> so we're gonna op we are gonna open it up like you did. So we can fold, open it up like this, and we're gonna pull the corners all the way and then flatten it down like this, so that everything lays flat, even on the back side. So I folded it against the table when we opened it up. You got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Um, this fold here, we're gonna, sorry, take this, we're gonna take this corner right here, we're gonna fold it across like that so that the edge, this bottom edge, this edge right here is lined up here and it's gonna create a fold right down the middle of our model. Okay, yeah. so, and then that one. Yes, and then we can straighten out this one on this side so it does the same thing. So you should get a little square right there, huh? Good, see that little, little square right there. 
Then we're going to reverse those folds, okay? So they're on the inside. So we'll tuck that in and we'll do that same thing right here on this side. Reverse it so that it's inside like that. Good job. Then let's flip it over and we'll do the same thing on this side. So we're going to take this top edge, top flap, fold the corner over so there's a crease down the middle. And then this one actually folded a lot better for me. Did what it was supposed to do. And yeah, so that's we'll reverse. The other, one. the other one did it? Yeah. So we'll reverse that back in, tuck, tuck that flap back in. If we go too fast, our art friends can pause the video. Pause the video. You can also rewind it, rewatch something if we went too fast. Good job, Chuckers. Okay, awesome. Now, this is going to be a little trick. So if our friends have ever done this before, we're doing something a little different, okay? All right, so we're gonna get, we have another piece of paper that we're gonna use just kind of as a scratch piece of paper because we're gonna use our Sharpies. We're gonna draw on this, okay? Okay. So we're gonna come down. So we got this little uh, flap right down the these two edges, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna come down, halfway down that flap, we're gonna draw a line that comes down, so point there. I'm gonna turn it this way and we're gonna do another line halfway down this one. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to flip it over and I'm going to draw right on the edge so I can see where it's at when I flip it over. And we're going to flip it over and then I can see where that little point was that I left on the other side. Draw the line over on this side. draw the line over to this side and connect to that point. So they should, if you open it up, they should actually connect right there. Good job. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna come down and we're gonna do little U's that are connected to each other like this. And I'm doing them so that they're connected close to the top because we're going to color this in and then if they're connected close like that you don't have to do a whole lot of coloring if you make them u-shaped yes that's awesome okay and then i'm going to do the same on this side little u's connected what do these look like dude um teeth yes they look like teeth Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do the same on this side, okay? Good job, Kate. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color in uh, in between his teeth, okay? Okay. Good job, Chuckers. All right, Kate, okay, now ready for the next step? Yeah. I'm gonna put the scratch paper off to the side. We're gonna take this top, the top, uh, layer of this of the triangle diamond whatever you want to call it our snapper and we're going to fold it up to the top okay okay and then um crease that down we're going to flip it over we're going to do the same thing on this side see how those teeth are now on the inside of our snapper mm -hmm. not awesome yeah okay and then once you get that then we're going to wait for you. Okay. <laughs> and I'm done. Make sure it's nice and crisp. Crispy. Yeah, there you go. Bacon. <laughs> then we're going to take it we're going to fold. We're going to open it up and fold it down this way. All right. We're going to, we got to put his eyes on there. Okay. So because um, we open it up like this, like that, his, his, his mouth is gonna open like this, okay? So you wanna make sure that you got it opening in the right direction. Let's put it back though, don't open it all the way. We're gonna turn it so that his mouth opens like this. We wanna make sure that we're doing the eyes on the right side, okay? We're gonna do a big, we're gonna, let's put a big circle right here on this side. And I'm gonna put another circle inside of that and then color it in. 
<laughs> now I'm even going to put a little eyebrow on top. And maybe even a nostril. <laughs> then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, okay? Okay. So symmetrical. And you can have a lot more fun. You could you could really color this, huh? Mm -hmm. You could color the whole thing green. You could use green paper if you wanted and make them into a monster. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff and really decorate them. But let's do the last step, okay? okay. We're going to open up his mouth. So we're going to take the two corners up here at the top and pull apart. And then this little part right here, it looks like his tongue. We're actually going to fold that down. See how it kind of naturally wants to go flat inside there? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a little there's a little flap inside that we can tuck something happen. Tuck this corner into like that. So it should lay flat against the back of his mouth when you open it up. Did you get it? No. Let's see. So when you open it up, it should just lay naturally down, right? Okay. Like that. And then you can tuck. This, you can open them up a little bit more and tuck that corner right into there. So it'll stay down. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then now that you got his mouth kind of folded in there flat in the back, he'll actually close. You can push in the back of his mouth there and then he'll close down. And he opens and closes, huh? Look at that. It's like a puppet, huh? Yeah. A little snapper. Snap, yeah. snap. Awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You could take a little uh, piece of glue and you could kind of get in there and glue this these tabs down in this in the corners of his mouth so they'll stay down. And you could also color the inside of his mouth too, right? Mm -hmm. You could put a little, you could draw a little tongue in there. You could color the whole inside red. It would look awesome. <laughs> Checkers, did you have fun making your origami snapper? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun making your snappers with us. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, chop, 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 chop. Yeah, 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 yeah